my chain is pinched. I didn't expect it to back lean at all. The dream of wanting to have more land, to have an incredible homestead, a huge garden, chickens, and more. We sold our first home, moved into a trailer, finally found land, and have been developing the land and building our dream home and homestead from scratch. The first year we developed this beautiful land. For the last year, I've been building up this home, learning all of these trades, and doing the rough-ins. So if you like the DIY journey, hit the subscribe button. I post a new weekly vlog, mainly every single Sunday. Welcome to my weekends. Sometimes we have days where we just relax. Other days we hang out and we help people. And today is one of those days. It's always amazing to have friends in the trades like Eddie, who helped me figure out all of the electrical work and answered all my questions the other week with my panel. So we're here today. I have the tree felling skill. I have to get a tree down. It's a pine. And then there's a few maples here that I'm gonna buck up and they're gonna take home. All right, I'm gonna clear my area, make sure I can escape if I need to and clear some of the like small low-lying branches. Okay, notch is done. Time to drop the tree. I'm not a professional, but what I like doing is making sure I have guidelines before I do my back cut. I make sure I have a mark showing me where to stop cutting, and that shows me where the hinge wood is, and then I draw a little line for where my back cut is going. And then I just cut away. My chain is pinched. I didn't expect it to back lean at all. And I tried to get the wedges in and it just, it's, it's so pinched now. Shoot. It's not a good situation to be in. There we go. It's going. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy that wind came by. That saved so much work. I mean, that was a solid cut. I'm actually quite happy with it. If I were to do it again, I think I would have maybe gone deeper into the tree, but you can see the hinge wood that was left. It was holding the tree in place. If I had cut through this, the tree would have gone anywhere because it clearly had a back lean, which is why my chainsaw got pinched where it got pinched. And at that point I was like, I can't, I can't keep going. Luckily that wind took it. Man, this is gonna be a big cleanup. Cam is off baby duty now. He's gonna come help me with all this wood. So I have like three giant maple trees here, bigger than I thought they were. That needs to all get bucked up. And honestly, the lower portions of it needs to be split as well because it's too big. But all these branches, like man, we can use that in our wood boiler. All right, they're going to whippersnipper a path for us so that we can carry some of this wood up. We just tried splitting one. It is just ridiculous. There's no way it's splitting. So we're gonna leave the bigger logs here, let them dry and then try to split them later. There's still some we could use over here. There's a whole pine. We're gonna leave that. All of this wood that I just bucked up, we can use, but all the big ones are not coming with us today. They're too wet to split. And then there's this whole maple here as well. I think we have enough to fill our truck today and get another load of maple back home. This should be like at least a cord of hardwood for our wood boiler this winter. Sam's got the wheelbarrow. Wave! 
And last but not least, a couple of more straggler trees that need to come down and get out of the way. And honestly, this is a poplar and you really don't want it near any home or any building. They grow so quickly and they're not the greatest firewood. I have sweat through the front of my pants. That is just disgusting. Good morning. I forgot to record. We had a, like a little dinner last night. It was so nice. So today's a Sunday. My husband has made us French toast. He doesn't even eat breakfast, but he made us French toast. I'm using my last jar of maple syrup. I'm so sad. This was from a year and a half ago. When we're done eating, I have to get all the wood out of the truck. And then we're going to go do some laundry, go into town, get things that we need. This is our typical Sunday. Me working in the mornings, getting my video online, answering comments, maybe doing a bit of work, but normally we chill. As we move more wood for what seems like the millionth time this summer, I'm realizing we have to have more ingenuity with this. Once we have all of these logs stacked up and out of the way, and once we have a machine in, I would love to make this little hill a little bit more accessible for our truck so that we can back up and maybe pull the logs out without having to throw them out by hand. That way we're not having to move the logs as much. Cam, stacked, not stacked, I guess you stacked. We got more wood. <laughs> wow, you stacked this guy full and there's still so much wood left. I did a good job. Look at that pretty sun. All right, another load of wood, another load of laundry. The weekend is pretty much done. It's a Monday, but I'm treating this like a weekend because sometimes you just don't have enough time to get all the things you actually need to get done that you would normally do on a weekend. And I have the ability to kind of move things around being a sole proprietor, business, self-builder. <laughs> so I'm at a still store. I desperately need some sort of weed whacker and I love my still gear. So I'm going to definitely take a look here. My goodness, I need to clean out the back of my truck, but I've got it. Now I can get some chores done. Like you can't even walk out here right now. <laughs> Yay! I love new tools. <laughs> All right, we got choke, half choke. It's apparently much easier to start than a chainsaw and there's even a primer button. And it doesn't let you over prime. So you can push it as many times as you want and it won't let you ruin it. It came with these six safeties too. They're huge. Maybe I should have gotten new headphones to go with them. Choke. Oh. oh, I stalled it. Really? <laughs> I feel like I need my chainsaw helmet on. This is getting all over my face. This is wild. I guess these plants are really thick. I just showered. All right, this is gonna take forever. Let's do this. So you're supposed to just be able to push this button and more string comes out, but my strings just completely broke off. So that wasn't gonna work for me. I have to figure out how to get this back in. I don't know if I maybe needed to get the attachment that like you can put a blade on it. I didn't think these were gonna be so hard to cut down. And then every like, two minutes I'm having to take this whole thing out because the string completely goes back inside and you can't get it back out easily. Like just come out. Why won't you come out? So you like have to take the whole head off and then refish things through. <sighs> okay, let's go for another two minutes before it breaks again. 
Well, I'm getting nearly nothing done. Even ferns are taking this thing out. But I'm saving these pretty flowers because my mom hand paints these Sola wooden flowers and she likes to add real dried flowers to them. I'm trying to find ones to save for her. I think I'm gonna go try it on the septic bed, see if it can cut even grass. So many of these guys are jumping out. <laughs> okay, well, pretty much it can only touch grass or else the green whatever it is breaks so i think maybe for the rest of it i'm just gonna try my best there might even be like a heavier duty cord that i could use and then i'm just gonna have to keep more on top of it the goal is to not have this all overgrown forever so hopefully we're really only dealing with grass in the future and some stuff like that but not a whole field of it i feel like i should have bought the one with the saw blade attachment I'm somewhat getting it to work now. Every like 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how it's going, I just pull this out a bit more. Apparently if you tap this on like a solid surface, it'll pull out on its own, but I'm gonna be out of the string in the next like half hour. Oh, and I'm going like top down on some of the heavy plants. That way it's not getting caught up and snapping so much. So I've been using this for like 10 straight minutes now and it's not snapped. <laughs> love it um so yeah that was like a good 20 minutes before the string came off because i was going and i was checking the whole time making sure that the string was long enough also just like i love seeing the house from this side i never see it from this side and i'm pretty much out of this this is gonna be like my last probably 20 minutes hopefully i can finish most of it up <laughs> All right, well, we are out of string. String? Cord? I was like, ah, oh, it's gonna at least last me a month, and uh, I sure was wrong. <laughs> I went to the dump and then I had to go in town and I got myself this stuff, carbon, carbon something? I don't know. Anyways, it's five times as strong. I'm hoping it'll do a lot better. So you take an arm's length and then you apparently you just feed it through. You just gotta make sure it's lined up properly. And then you have to twist it. This is a pretty cool technology, I've gotta say. I went from being frustrated I bought this to kind of liking it. I wonder how this is gonna do though. That's gonna make a huge difference having a stronger cable. Wow, that is so much better night and day difference. Holy. This new stuff, the, the carbon tip or whatever, carbite, carbon. Oh my goodness, it is a beast. So I did have to, you know, fix it once, but much better than like the seven times I had to earlier. Oh my gosh. But I will say this whole thing, I burnt through two things of gas. So maybe I got the wrong one for what we need, but I have it pretty good for the next probably week or two. Look what Cam brought home for future wood piling. Good morning, it's the weekend again, Sunday. Yesterday I edited all day. But anyways, today we are going to the dump after I eat some delicious breakfast. And I'm gonna go sneak up on Cam and listen to him play some music. I'll be forever happy if this is our Sunday tradition. French toast and listening to my husband sing. I don't know about you, you're all sneaky. I'm sneaky. <laughs> but you're such a beautiful singer. People go wanna away. know. Go, go People wanna know. Guys, I fell in love with him <laughs> when I heard his voice. Seriously. That's what keeps her around too. It's <laughs> definitely not my handiwork. <laughs> no. He's got to install our kitchen. Yeah, I heard him singing on stage. Our eyes locked. It's <laughs> mine. <laughs> Honestly, this is the last thing I want to do on a Sunday, but nice to have Cam's help, so getting it done. I did, I waited for you. Yeah. Hold still, baby. Ah! Love you. <laughs> <laughs> 
much bigger pile of steel than I thought. You've accidentally disturbed a mouse house. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh. Doing a big old scrap run and laundry. <laughs> It's not like full, but it's nice not having to strap anything and we're just dealing with basically stealing some big O today. That worked. <laughs> can make some, oh, for one second. You can make some money off of that. <laughs> I feel like we could still use these on a future build. <sighs> throwing it right on the ground. <laughs> you always have to look at the reuse center. There, there. That's cute. Yeah. Happy with your new cup? Yeah. We went to the dump yesterday and then did nothing for the rest of the day, which was great. And this morning we've been cleaning, getting things organized, it's been awesome. But we're also having our friends Colin and Paige over. They also have a YouTube channel and they've been living in their van and traveling and living such a cool lifestyle. So they're over here today. We're gonna host. They even have their own sleeping quarters because they sleep in their van. It's awesome. They're here. What's up? Oh. Hello. Burgers and fries. It's honestly just so nice to have company. This is our first time having like someone stay over or who aren't, you know, exactly local to us over for dinner and to hang out. I just said to Cam, this is so nice, like being able to just sit back and relax and not work. We had such a blast with Colin and Paige and I thought the hangouts were gonna end there, but my mom and Craig had something huge up their sleeve. The next weekend, I was gonna get some wood stacked, but my mom and Craig threw an incredible surprise. 30th birthday party for me. Surprise! <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm yes. with so many amazing <laughs> friends and family who came out to support me. The surprises started with some of my dearest cousins. To see them there first was just so special. I got to meet my new niece, who's my cousin's daughter for the first time, and I was just so in awe of her. And the surprises did not end there. One by one, people who mean so much to me walked through the door. Oh, my arm. <gasps> <laughs> Well, Beata, what do you think? I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm so surprised. And love. Okay. Yay. <laughs> And before you hear the happy birthday, you just have to know my husband comes from an incredibly musically talented family who, of course, led the charge on happy birthday. It's now a week after my 30th birthday surprise party. The day after my surprise party, my grandma from further away stayed over and I got to listen to her play the piano. <laughs> My 
husband and I just celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary. He took the week off. We went to the spa. He like decluttered and deep cleaned the trailer. He helped me on some of the builds. You'll see that next week. And now we're up at my mom and Craig's cottage. My best friend from university is here with her partner. And honestly, it's just, it's so nice to take some time off. My family just threw me for a loop and it's been the absolute best time. I'm so thankful to be able to take some time off and to share some of that with you. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my birthday weekend with my family and friends and I will see you next week and fingers crossed it's gonna be a re-inspection and if you want to support the channel like subscribe comment and apparently clicking the share button sharing it on Facebook or sending it in an email is a huge help right now on the YouTube algorithm so thanks so much guys and I'll see you next week